Aristotle theory on revolutions. What Aristotle said on revolutions? Okay, let's know about it. You all know that Aristotle's famous book is Politics and he is the father of polity. Okay, Aristotle's views on revolutions are contained in book 5 of Politics and are largely based on his study of the working of 158 constitutions of the Greek city-states. He studied 158 constitutions and he wrote what is revolution in his book 5 of politics. Aristotle assigned a very broad meaning to a term revolution in his book. He implied that it has any major or minor change in the setup such as change from monarchy to oligarchy and so on. He implied it even in the change in ruling power without overhalting the system. He said like this in his book. He said there are many causes of revolution. Those are the general causes and particular causes. General causes of revolution are one of the major general causes of revolution according to Aristotle is the natural desire of the people to be treated as equal. They always envy the privileges and superior position of the few. According to Sinclair, since justice and friendship are the moral basis of the state, injustice and ill will are the most potent causes of the discontent and instability. These are the general causes of revolution. And Aristotle also said, particular causes are also for the revolution. Those are, number one, it is, Demand for social, political and economic equality with those in authority. Grant of undue prominence to some people. Grant of absolute powers to one or few individuals. Misuse of authority by those in power. The use of unscrupulous methods in elections for capture of power. Carelessness in admission of corrupt and disloyal officers to civil and military posts. Excessiveness and irrational use of force free flow of immigrants, lack of transparency in economy and the system. These reasons are the particular causes of revolution, said by Aristotle. Aristotle also say some methods of prevention of revolution. In this prevention methods, there are general methods and particular methods. Let's see first, it is general methods to prevention of revolution. An effort should be made to gain the confidence of all the sections of society by eliminating all symbols of injustice and treating various classes with consideration. Justice should not only be done but manifestly and undoubtedly seems to be done. It is one of the general methods to prevent the revolution according to Aristotle's point of view. All the offices should be open to all on the basis of merit. Cultivating and maintaining a spirit of law abidingness among citizens. Citizens should be imported necessary education in the spirit of constitution. No person or class of person should be permitted too much of power. The government offices should not be permitted to become sources of gain. No government office should be granted on permanent basis. There should not be favoritism and nepotism. Efforts should be made to keep the spirit of patriotism alive among the citizens, controlling corruption and disallowing misuse of power. The details of administration, particularly those of public finance, should be open to public scrutiny. Officers, rewards and honors should be distributed on the widest possible basis. Administration should be kept sound and pure. Okay, these are some of the general methods for the prevention of revolution. And now see, what are the particular methods for the prevention of Revolution by Aristotle point of view. Okay, after suggesting general methods for prevention of revolution, Aristotle proceeds to suggest particular methods also for the prevention of revolution in different forms of government. He suggests that in democracy, the rich should be made to feel that their property and estates shall not be redistributed. They should be allowed to participate in the administration of the country. In aristocracy and oligarchy, the people should be treated with fairness and no single person or group of persons should be permitted to become too powerful. Under tyranny, the revolutions can be checked through the following methods. These methods are providing good espionage system including women spies, following always the policy of aggression and expansion, creating a sense of constant danger and threat from a powerful enemy among the masses, development of intellectual life among citizens, Keeping the people poor so that they will be busy with 
feeding themselves creating a sense of hostility and distress among various sections of the people so that they keep in mutual wrangles and cannot thrive or revolting against the ruler participating in public worship and religious ceremonies of the people and people showing respect for their religious sentiments earning reputation for military virtues creating an air in minds of public by leading a life of luxury and glamour showing favors publicly but punishing from the back chopping off the heads of inconvenient rulers these are some of the particular methods for the prevention of revolution by the aristotle point of view if you write a perfect answer on the basis of this reasons of aristotle on revolution okay causes of revolution and prevention of revolution in aristotle point of view then you will secure good marks in your examination okay and this is is very very important topic okay what is it it is aristotle thought on revolution and causes of revolution it is two types general causes and particular causes and prevention of revolution it is also two types general method to prevention of revolution and particular method to prevention of revolution okay this is about aristotle take on revolution point of view okay thank you so much and all the very best